Hey, what's going on you guys and welcome to to part two of my uh, video game pickups for the past couple weeks. Um, if you guys haven't watched the first part, be sure to check that out. It is basically everything that I got from Sony from PlayStation 1 all the way to PlayStation 4. Um, I also started a new game collection in that video and I got really some really awesome things uh, for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 3, you guys. So if you guys haven't watched that one, stop this video, go check out that one, and then let me know and then you can continue on with this one. Um, so basically this one's just gonna be a mixture of everything else that I got. Um, so to start it out, you guys, I'm gonna start out with some figures that I got from GameStop. Uh, these two I actually just recently picked up. They are only exclusive. They're only exclusively at GameStop, and I picked up one for me and one for my girlfriend just because, you know, both of these actually really do seem like me how how me and my girlfriend are, and they're gonna be Gamer Mickey and Gamer Mini. And I really like these two. Um, I saw they, they were both on sale for buy three get one for free. Um, I only got these two because they didn't have any other two that I really wanted. I'm not really trying to collect into pops. If I see one that I really like that has meaning to me, then I'll go ahead and pick it up. Um, Gamer Mini, you know, if you can tell right here, she's standing up, uh, has her headset on, and it's just you know kind of focusing her game basically how my girlfriend is she you know she's not as big of a gamer as me she does love video games she does love playing certain games on certain systems and everything like that um, but you know she's always just like more hyped up focused onto it was gamer Mickey you know his his eyes are shut he's like just so focused on everything else um, and it just seems like everything else is just cut off um, which is basically how I am when I get lost in a game you guys it, it takes a lot of people, it takes a lot just to get my attention away from it uh, sometimes. So both of these, not bad. I was really happy to pick these up. The next thing I got, you guys, is actually something that should have been in the last video. It just got mixed up with all this stuff and I totally forgot about it. It's a game collect, it's a collector's edition that I already have for a game uh, for the PlayStation 4. I really liked it. They have uh, it actually cheap at GameStop, so I couldn't really pass it up, especially since it's still sealed and everything. And it's Nino Kuni 2, uh, Revenant Kingdom. I enjoy playing this game, you guys. It's a good story. It's, you know, a great game. I really enjoy playing it, and I, you know, like the look of the collection edition. So I needed something also for the back shelf for a PlayStation 4, because I do have a lot of collection editions for Switch. Um, but I really wanted to get this one, just because it's really awesome. And then I also went and got this from Goodwill, you guys. It is a 8-bit Link uh, figure, uh, basically a little Nintendo of Wor Nintendo World figure. Um, if you guys don't know, I already have one back on the shelf, but it's actually uh, opened up. Um, you know, I bought that at Cooper's store a while back, and I opened it up, and I actually kind of regretted it. So when I saw this one bundled up with another item that I'll show you guys, um, I knew I had to have it, and I wanted to keep this one sealed. I don't know why, just Nintendo World, I feel like might be something popular, and rising price and everything later down the road. Plus, it just looks cool being sealed. And I also got this at my, my local GameStop, you guys. Uh, this is actually a controller for the Switch that I've been wanting for so long that I just never had the time to be able to find it. Um, it's either, it was always out of stock, um, but now I've seen it a lot more in stores. And I was like, you know what, I have the money, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Um, and it's gonna be the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild controller. I love this thing. I don't know why. It's just because of the colors. It's because Link's uh, shooting the ancient arrow on the right side. You know, it's just a really cool looking controller. I'm really happy to have this. I will eventually open it up and start playing with it eventually. So that's pretty cool. Um, this one I got, I got an Amiibo. Um, like I said, like the Pops, I don't really focus a lot on Amiibos or Pops. I don't really want to collect all of them just because of how expensive they are. Um, but I did get this one because it is a character that I really love in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And it's going to be Cloud. Now, unfortunately, it's just him and his Final Fantasy VII game look, not the movie look. Um, if they do have the seven look, uh, the movie look, then I'll go ahead and pick that one up as well because Cloud is one of my favorite characters. Um, actually, Final Fantasy VII is just one of my favorite games in general. Uh, but this is just really awesome. I re I'm going to keep it sealed and hold on to it. And then this one actually goes with the 8-bit link that I got. You guys, I got both of them from Goodwill. I think I spent like maybe 15 bucks for both of them. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's a bigger set of uh, Nintendo World 8-bit characters. You got Link, Donkey Kong, Toad, Mario, and Luigi. Looks really cool. I was really happy to pick this up. Donkey Kong out of all of them looks really cool. Um, even though I do love Link and his green tunic. Um, actually, I just love all the characters and how they look. But Donkey Kong just for me looks a lot funnier. Um, so... Super happy to have this. 
And to get into some games, you guys, I got a lot of stuff from Shop Goodwill. I got a lot of stuff from. Uh, I got a game a game from Super Rare Games. I got my video game monthly in this one as well. Um, and I got a lot of stuff from GameStop as well. But this one I got from eBay, and it's Donald Duck going Quackers. I needed this one for uh, my N64 collection. Unfortunately, it has a sticker slash tape wrapped around uh, most of it, so I'll have to get a lot of goo gone and peel it off slow, uh, nicely so I'm not really uh, ripping up the label. Um, that'll be probably down the road, um, but if I do damage, I'm going to end up having to replace this one. So, just going to hold on to it. It looks really cool. I needed it, and I can't wait to play it. Next is going to be a stack of game, uh, GameCube games that I need, uh, got for pretty cheap, actually, at Goodwill. Uh, they're all complete. I just, you know, they're, they're not so, super rare. They're just sports titles that I needed for my GameCube collection, um, which is going to be Madden 2004. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour 2003, NFL 2K3, NBA Live 2003, All-Star Baseball 2002, NFL Quarterback Club 2002, NHL Hits 2003, and NHL 2003. You know, sports titles, nothing like too super rare or anything. Um, got this all for a pretty cheap bundle of Goodwill. Um, I couldn't really pass it up. I needed a GameCube game side to my collection. So be able to have these is pretty cool. And they're all complete and the discs actually look really good. Uh, next are two games that I got from GameStop. Uh, I got Mass Effect 3, uh, the collection. Did, uh, Mass Effect 3 for the Wii U. I haven't really been able to find a lot of Wii U games that I don't have already. Uh, it's like my N64, I'm getting up there to almost completing it. Um, but I did not have this one. I'm super excited to be able to add this to my collection. And it's missing the manual, unfortunately, but I'll have to find one later down the road. The next one is going to be a collection edition for the Wii U. It's going to be Super Mario Maker. I already have the game, but this actually comes complete. I got this at GameStop. Um, and one of the guys that cashed me out couldn't actually believe that they had this complete. And it was actually in good shape. Everything in here is just really good um it looks almost brand new so i don't know why someone would just turn this in um but it is really cool so i'm super happy to have this i've been wanting this collection edition for a while so i'm really happy to have it in my collection now the next two games are going to be stuff that i got off ebay um i feel like i got a steal from these you guys just because they're both really good games that i've really enjoyed um and i was actually surprised that i was able to get these cheaper than what the person people were asking for um they i made an offer they accepted it immediately and then i was able to bu uh, buy them um the first one is going to be yeast 3 complete in box i love yeast 8 on the nintendo switch so i started wanting to collect all the yeast games on the different systems so i can be able to play them and understand more of the stories and try diff the different styles of the games this thing is just amazing i need to get a collect uh protection case for it just because I want to keep it in good shape. Um, it has a, just a little sticker and a little sticker damage right here which is okay. I'm not going, look, going looking for a complete nice box or anything and the, the deal on it that I got it for it was actually a good price and I couldn't pass it up. The next one is going to be for a Sega Saturn game you guys complete. It is going to be Warcraft 2. Now, if you guys have watched uh, my vlogs, you guys would see that Warcraft 2 is one of my favorite PC games. Uh, it's actually one of the only PC games that I really played growing up as a kid on our family computer. And then I actually found out that this game was on the Sega Saturn, uh, watching one of the Game Chaser episodes. So I knew for a while I wanted to add this to my collection. Um, so I'm going to be able to play this now um, with my Sega Saturn. I'm super excited to try this thing out. And I'm going to spend a lot of hours playing this game, you guys, because it's just an amazing game. I really do love it, and I really do appreciate uh, playing it. So this one is a very nostalgic game for me. Next up is going to be some Nintendo uh, World of Nintendo figures, you guys. I got these pretty cheap, actually, at my uh, local Walgreens. Uh, I bought basically almost every single one except for one because it was a duplicate that I already had. Um, but I got Orange Yoshi, Cat Toad, Cat Luigi, Green Toad, Blue Yoshi, and then Cat Mario. All very cool. Um, I think I got these for like three bucks each. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm not collecting Nintendo uh, World and Nintendo figures. 
Um, but I saw these ones, they were going on sale and they look really cool. Um, especially the Yoshi ones, cause I really do like Yoshi. Um, and I decided, you know, I'm just might as well just pick these all up because they were all pretty cheap for what they were asking for. So I was super happy to add these to my collection. And then I'm gonna show you guys my video game monthly. Um, I did open this box unfortunately a couple weeks ago, so there's not gonna be a video game monthly opening this month. There will be one next month. Um, I learned I'm just not gonna open a video game monthly as the same time I'm opening up other packages because I do enjoy making that video. Um, but the first one I got you guys is Speedy Man uh, Mangalas. Uh, I Gon Speedy Gonzalez. I enjoyed uh, watching him. He's one of my favorite Looney Tunes. <coughs> Excuse me. He's one of my favorite Looney Tunes, and you know, to have this on the Game Boy is pretty cool. Um, the next one is going to be Rocket Power uh, Gone Air for the game uh, for the Game Boy. Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies. Uh, I love the movie growing up. I love you know watching a bunch of these cartoons. These three really do have nostalgic feeling for me because they're all cartoons I used to watch a lot growing up. Um, then I also got uh, Alex Ryder Stormbreaker. And then uh, for the Sega Genesis, I got Internal Gen uh, Internal Champions. It's loose, unfortunately, but this is actually a game I've been, want I've been almost buying every time I go to GameStop and I buy something. I always just delete the Sega Genesis games for some reason, just because I know they're loose and I don't really want to buy the case. I'll pick up the case for this one later. I'm super excited, though, to have it. And then the last game I got, you guys, was Hang On and Astro Air. Uh, an Astro Warrior uh, for uh, Sega Master System. This is actually my official first Sega Master System game. And to have it complete is really cool. It comes with the manual and everything. The cartridge looks lo really good. The label looks really good. Um, yeah, so I'm super happy. I don't have a Sega Master System yet, but I will be picking up one later down the road this year, hopefully, um, and I'll be able to play this one out. And then some more games that I got from C my local city game exchange and I got from uh, eBay as well, you guys. Uh, I'll show you the city game exchange ones first. Um, I got Star Soldier and Duke Nukem Zero Hour, two games that I did not have. Um, it was actually pretty weird to walk into my CD game exchange because it's the one that I grew, uh, grew up since I was five. They actually moved locations. I don't know if I remember talking about the that in one of my vlogs or anything. I know I want to make a video about it and I'm still going to, um, but they did end up moving locations and I didn't haggle this time. I didn't ask uh, if I could get it cheaper. Um, they only were a couple bucks over price charting, which is okay for me. Um, but, you know, it's a nice little new location. They told me they were saving a lot of money on rent, so that was really good. I'm happy they're still around, though. It's just weird not going to the same location that I went when I was, like, growing up since I was, like, five years old. The next two are going to be ones that I bought off of eBay. Uh, the first one is going to be Dual Heroes. Unfortunately, you can't see the title right there because the label was ripped off, so I will have to upgrade the label later down the road uh, update upgrade this one later down the road um, and then I also got NFL quarterback club 2001 you know games that I just needed to add for my n64 collection I haven't even tallied up on how many that I have have or have left um, I am slowly starting to buy more of the buy more of them just because I want to get that com uh, complete collection done as soon as possible the next thing I got you guys is actually my first limited run game. I really wanted this one and it's super awesome. I ordered the same back in September and I almost gave up a couple times just because, you know, it was coming so late and I wasn't getting any contact information or being told when it was coming out until or, uh, late in December. Uh, but it's going to be Yoka, Yoka Lele uh, for the Switch. And I love the collection edition because it comes with an N64 cartridge that doesn't have a chip. Um, it comes with a Switch game, comes with the soundtrack, comes with a lot of great stuff. But I love the fact that it comes in an N64 style box. Unfortunately, I did have to open it just because I really wanted to play this game. And I wanted to look at the N64 cartridge. Um, it's not like my super rare games where I'm going to keep them all sealed. This one I really want to try, so it's really awesome and I'm super happy to have this. Next is going to be some Switch games that I got for at uh, GameStop, you guys. Uh, the first one is going to be apparently a really rare one that everyone's been buying. It's just a lot of people have been wanting this game, and they were actually surprised that I was able to pick this up, and they had that many copies left. It's going to be Katamari Damacy uh, Reroll. Sorry if I butchered the name or anything. I haven't opened it up yet. It's still uh, sealed. I will be trying this out just because I've been... A lot of people that I watch on YouTube recommend picking this game up, but they all say it's a it's hard to pick, uh, 
be able to find because so many people are wanting it. So if you're looking for it and you're wanting it, my local GameStop has it, you guys. Um, so just keep an eye out for it. The next one is going to be Little Dragon Cafe. I love this game, you guys. I've been playing this game for a while now. Um, it's super fun. I, I highly recommend picking up this game, you guys. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy playing this kind of style of games. Um, it gives you that Animal Crossing feeling, but at the same time, it's an adventure game with a pet dragon. I'll do a review and I'll go into more details, but Little Dragon's Cafe, I need to pick up the collection edition, and hopefully pretty soon I'll buy the collection edition because I did find one. Um, the next one is going to be still sealed as well, you guys. It's going to be Tales of Asperia, the Definitive Edition. One that I really want to try out. I just haven't had the time to play it yet. Um, but I will be opening it up pretty soon and be playing it. And I'll probably do a review on this one. I'm not entirely sure yet, but yeah. Tales of Asperia. If you guys have played it, let me know how it is. The next one is going to be my super rare game, you guys. I'm super happy this one actually finally came through. It's going to be Knights, uh, Knights Pen and Paper 1 and 2. Um... You know, I'm going to keep this one sealed. I really love the look of it. I'm going to be buying this on the eShop just because I really want to play both of them. Um, so, yeah. It's Knights of Pen and Paper two, 1 and 2. Super awesome. Happy to have this one. Next is going to be some game uh, 3DS games that I got. Factory Sealed uh, from Goodwill. Got these for pretty cheap because they're not very rare games. Um, it's going to be Bravely Second and Lair. And then Codename Steam. Like I said, both factory sealed. I'm not going to open them just because they are factory sealed. I'll buy, you know, I'll see if I can find them loose later down the road, then I'll pick them up loose. I'll pick them up loose and play them. But because these two are factory sealed, I'm just not going to open them up. Next one is going to be another 3DS game that I got you guys is uh, from GameStop. It's going to be Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. This thing has seen a lot better days, you guys. On um, the back, it's completely look like it's got chewed on. Um, same thing for the front. Uh, yeah, I just need to replace the entire thing. The game's the game's complete. I just need to replace the box. I need to replace the label and everything. But other than that, the game and the book and everything are in good shape. And I didn't have this one, so I need to add this to my collection. Next is going to be some game, uh, some Nintendo Wii games, you guys, that I picked up from GameStop. Uh, the first one is going to have a lot of sentimental value for me. It's going to be Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. This is actually one of the first games I got with my Wii. Um, I got this, Wii Sports, and uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. My brother bought me this for Christmas. I just didn't have my Wii, so they, this is the one game that they wanted me to play first just because it was really cool. and they, We all love uh, growing up with Dragon Ball Z. Um, this one has a lot more sentimental value. I traded mine in when Budokai Tenkaichi 3 came. Unfortunately, just because I really wanted to upgrade and I didn't plan on saving my games later at that age. So I'm really happy. It's complete in box, so I'm super happy to have this one. Next one is going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Wheelie, Break, uh, Wheelie Breakers. Yeah, for the Wii. It is not complete, unfortunately. Um, I actually didn't mind enjoy this series. I didn't like GX, but I love the original Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I love 5D's. I don't know why, it just seemed like a really cool, interesting story. And I always love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! games, so to be able to have this is pretty awesome. The next one is going to be Disney Universe. Um, it reminded me a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3, not because it's about Keyblades or anything like that, but because you get to visit different Disney worlds, which always just seems really cool for me. Um, and then the next one is going to be Spongebob, uh, Creature from the uh, Krusty Krab. Love Spongebob, looks really cool, can't wait to try it out. Next is going to be some DS games that I got for Goodwill, you guys. Um, nothing important. I'm just going to go through them. It's going to be Cooking Mama, Cake Mania, Gardening Mama, and Cooking Mama 3, Shop and Chup. Um, all complete. You know, I just saw them super cheap on Goodwill, and I figured, you know, I didn't have a lot of DS games, so I wanted to go ahead and add these to my collection, which is pretty cool. Next is some games that I got for... At uh, CD Game Exchange, I got Road Blaster for the NES, Mission Impossible for the NES, Sky Shark for the NES, uh, Metal P Palace for the NES, Trojan for the NES, and then finally Destiny of an em uh, Emperor has some uh, writing on it, which is unfortunate, but yeah, all games that I needed from an NES collection. And I got these for a decent price, you know, like I said, a little bit higher than uh, uh, price charting, but you know, still super cool. Um, so yeah, you guys are gonna see a split frame check real quick because we're hitting that 20 minute mark, so just be patient, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, you guys. So yeah, the last three things are actually gonna be things that just 
are very important to me, you guys. They're actually uh, my three favorite things that I actually received out of all of this stuff. Uh, they're not. It's not because they're rare. It's not because they're expensive or anything. It's just because they have a lot of meaning. Uh, the first two are for my girlfriend's kids. They both got me Nintendo uh, World of Nintendo figures. I got uh, Raccoon Mario and Bob Bob Baum, which is really cool because. You know, they they thought about me. They bought me stuff for Valentine's Day, and they really wanted to get these for me. So I was super happy to have these. And the last thing is not even video game related, you guys. It's actually just a picture of me, my girlfriend, and the kids. Um, my girlfriend got me this, which is really awesome because you know it's it's not video game related, but I wanted to share with you guys. It has a lot of meaning just because you know me and my girlfriend have been going out for two years now, um, and you know it's just it's really awesome that. I can actually have this on my desk and be able to look at, at this and it just brings me a smile every time I look at it. So to be able to have this is really awesome. Um, yeah, it's, like I said, those three are my most favorite things. So yeah, that is gonna be everything you guys. Just wanna say thank you guys so much. I know I haven't posted anything recently. Um, be sure to check out the first part if you haven't already. Um, and just, you know, write in the comments, you know, what you guys think of the videos, uh, what, your favorite things that I picked up and what really great games I need to look out for as well. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys later. Everyone have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.